Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. Who needs this? If you are going to take your DMV test or road test, you need to be watching this. If you have less than 10 years of experience, if you're under 25 years old, you need to be watching this. It takes 10 years to truly get enough experience to be a safe driver out here. So, uh, safe here. Uh, this is a typical morning drive. You want to have at least four car space cushion between yourself and other vehicles. You want to be actively looking left, middle, right, and checking rear mirror. Uh, typically in the morning, people are in a rush to get to work. I'm going to make a lane change, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I got over to the left lane. You can't see your blinker. On your DMV test or road test, they want to see you make very smooth lane changes. Remember, making a lane change through an intersection is illegal and it is dangerous. You will lose points on your DMV test or road test if you make a lane change through the middle of the intersection. So uh, the environment is getting ready to change. We're getting on the expressway now, so you're gonna feel the flow and energy pick up. But you, in a testing situation, need to maintain a legal speed. I'm gonna give you some narration about the pavement markings. You have a solid yellow line to the left. This is the warning line that we're next to the wall. In North America, we drive on the right side of the road. We have a broken white line. This means that we can change lanes because traffic is moving in the same direction. If you notice the car to the right of the truck is tailgating the white minivan, you will also lose points if you tailgate vehicles. Another point of contention is uh, speed control. You want to be within the speed limit. Uh, typically, beginning drivers go five to seven under or five to seven over. It takes a lot of practice to maintain that pedal uh, with your foot on it. So you do have to get out and practice that and to get in different driving environments. Um, I get a lot of questions about how do I maintain speed control? How do I maintain speed control? It's through practice. Uh, typically where I'm from, you need 30 hours of driving before you can go on to the next graduated license. That's two and a half hours per week. So if your parents are not finding, or adults, or people who are getting ready to take their DMV test, you need to have two and a half hours per week. So I'm maintaining good speed control. I'm checking my mirrors. I'm not turning the wheel very much. On your uh, freeway portion of your test, if you overturn the wheel, you literally can go off the road. So I'm gonna show you this by going off the road to the left for educational purposes. So I'm gonna show you what happens. Oh my God, did, did you hear that? That is so scary. So typically what happens, beginning drivers bring too much speed into the curb, centrifugal force will pull you out, or you overturn the wheel. I'm lifting my foot a little bit to not be on top of the car. You do not want to tailgate. You want to have a safe distance. So I'm maintaining good speed control. I'm smooth. You do not want to overturn the wheel. Uh, what I notice when my drivers get on the expressway for that first, second, and third drive, they typically are turning the wheel too much or they're looking down at the lines. So this car is slowing down in front of me. I'm just lifting my foot and notice the cowboy words that I'm using increasing my following distance. You never wanna be on top of cars. Next, you need to understand the rules of the right of way. That will help you understand how it functions. The first car to get there is the first car to leave. Uh, that could be a point of failure because for some reason, students, and a student, I mean anyone over uh, 16, uh, just as they understand the rule of the right way. Uh, next, making lane changes. It has to be mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I know there are other acronyms that are out there, but I teach my students to check your inside mirrors. Turn on your turn signal, activate that turn signal, then check your blind spot. I'm gonna make a 